What is the crack, lads? Happy Friday and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the last of the Showtime players. Here we have got Cabela. Cabela, Cabela. I call him Cabela. Tomato, 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 potato, potato. Anyway, Cabela is a fantastic player, lads, but you do need to grind a little bit with him, right? And this is this is kind of an issue with a lot of the cards now, is that you need to kind of, because there's so many like good cards out there and it's so easy to get the cards that you want, that you can spend a lot of time, a lot of training XP and a lot of effort to train up a player. And then the following week, you can get lucky and sign a player of the week player, or you can get a legend in a one spin or five spins or whatever. And it kind of like, you know, it makes the card that you've already put a lot of time into just obsolete, right? And Kabea kind of falls into this category, right? Mbappe and Marquinhos, they're endgame level players. No matter what you feel about Mbappe, for me, the board is out on him. I cannot really play with him compared to Romario. Mbappe doesn't ever win me games compared to Romario. Or when I'm playing with my road to glory, I personally prefer Collar and Messi or Collar and Robbie Keane now, just to have a bit of crack with lesser known players or lesser used players. Marquinhos is probably one of the best centre backs in the game. I would put him in the same category as Cannavaro, uh, Maldini, Tommy Asu from Big Times. Um, he's, a, he's a beast. But this guy kind of falls in between that, right? Yes, you can turn him into an absolute demon on the pitch. He's got some excellent stats and excellent player skills, but he's also missing a few things that make this card just not really... Like, I like him, right? I like him, and he will play above his stats because these type of players, the creative playmakers, always pick up lovely positions. They're not as good as whole players, but this guy can play every position possible, um, you know, apart from a center forward and a DMF. Um, but I do like his stats and he has a whopping 49 levels to go. So usually when you have this many levels to go, you do have a lot of alternate ways of training him. But we're going to show you a couple of them and then we're going to show you uh, an alternative GP player for you free to play players and my road to glory uh, people that I'm um, doing a road to glory as well, where I'm spending no coins whatsoever, zero. Um, so one big issue I have with Kabea is the fact that he does not have two key uh, player skills. The first one is weighted pass. He does not have that for an AMF. That is killer. And also he does not have one touch pass. So straight off the rip, you're kind of putting yourself at a disadvantage that you need to give additional skills to this guy to really make him, you know, comparable with the top class AMFs like Zico or Guti or Messi or even Neymar. Um, even though Neymar doesn't have a lot of those player skills, he's just, you know, he's got everything else going for him you are at a bit of a disadvantage compared to just buying somebody on the GP market that has literally every player skill. Mightn't have as good stats, but has every player skill, right? So he does have true pass and then he does have double touch, which is nice, but we are going to get into that in a second, right? So over on DB lads, we do have this maxed out version of him here, which is going to go to a 91 overall, but this is going to be a 94 overall rating on the wing, okay? So we've just maxed out his dexterity, and his dribbling, we've put 18 upgrades into, 18 levels into his dexterity, which brings his acceleration and balance to 93 and 94. Yes, it's overkill, but we are playing this guy as a deliberate winger that's going to be on the wing. He doesn't have bags and bags of stamina or speed, and he doesn't have great passing with this build. So it is kind of an injustice to this card, but you don't have to worry about upgrading any of his additional skills. Double touch, beautiful. He's also got chop turn, soul control. And of course, he does have true passing as well, which means that you don't need to, you know, pump in that many into this low pass. Now, the other side of it is, is that you could literally just go out and buy Dembele or you could buy Sané or Mane um, or pretty much anyone that is a decent, like say Maximin, anyone that's a decent winger and he's going to outperform him with better dribbling, better acceleration and better balance, which are the three main key stats you need for wingers. So it does kind of you are kind of relying on his player uh, ID and stuff like that, which is kind of limited at the moment with eFootball. So I would say that that's a no-go. Uh, I have seen people uh, use him as a right winger. Um, I would use it with a sub tactic that you could start him right wing and then shift him in if you're losing or winning or whatever. But I do like this version of him, right? So straight off the rip, we've got 90 tight possession. Ball control, dribbling, low pass, balance, and acceleration are all going to get into the 90s with the form arrow boost, okay? So you're going to have all the key stats that you could possibly want into the 90 zone. So as I said, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, and acceleration are all going to be 90s um, when you get the form arrow going for you. 
Finishing is a little lacking here as well if you do shoot. I mean, he's not going to replace Messi. This version of him, if you were, if I was to give an example of how I would probably train him a little bit differently, you don't need this high of acceleration. Yes, it's nice to have 80 eight acceleration to go to the 90 zone but if you are a pass first type player you can just take one off there you'll still get to boost the balance which is the more important stat in my opinion and you can boost up the finishing to get that into the 80 zone if you want to go with that if you do shoot a lot 80 finishing is enough lads unless you are really struggling in front of goal and you know i finish with strikers that are like 81 82 it depends on you know you can literally walk the ball in a lot of goals are just happens now as we always do as well as we are going to have a look at a gp alternative and we've picked sergio canales this guy is a fantastic player he's got double touch true passing but he has also got that all elusive one touch pass player skill as well which is huge now we've just roughly uh trained him up he only has 26 levels you're not going to be able to compete with the likes of the epic players with these gp players um statistics wise like as a visual thing on the pitch but the same people kind of complaining about that are the same people you know saying haha my M mbappe is 102 overall compared to your mbappe that's 98 overall i mean like it's 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 just a it's an optical illusion lads these people that are, you know obsess over overall rating um don't really you know i would wonder what they're what they're actually trying to achieve um on the pitch if they're worried about an overall rating because as i've showed in time and time again in my videos if i want to improve the overall rating right of this card because he's an amf i know that if i take four off this so his rating is 90 overall there and i put pop him onto here into shooting as an amf he's going to stay the same right but if i pop it into passing and dribbling and take away the lower body we can get that up very very nicely to a 91 but it's not a better card just because it says it's a 91 overall does not mean that that's a better card so if you're looking at somebody like this and you're trying to get replacements with gp i would definitely um i would definitely you know like try and match them up with the player skills and some of their key stats like i will be doing a video and it's something that i've been working on for a while um of like what to train on each position so full backs center backs goalkeeper dmf cmf amf wide players and then strikers what three or four key stats to train um and i think it will help out people but as i said keep experimenting like the thing is if you train up a player that you buy if you get Kabea, you train him up and you're like ah, he's just not doing it for me he's too weak on the ball maybe you don't have his balance high enough um, you know, people always obsess about the acceleration, but the balance is the key stat for smaller base players when they come together with stronger players, especially if they don't have good physical contact. Maybe you'll need to boost that up a bit. Maybe you're saying, yeah, I'm able to dribble with him, no problem. I don't need him that fast. Maybe I want to be able to shoot and I get in front of goal. You can pop up the finishing because there is free GP training until resets until September. So that is it for me, lads. I've rambled a bit as we usually do, but we will be back later on. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what other training guides you would like to see. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.